Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with a brand new series in RTR Imperium. So, Rectum, this time we are back to a story campaign. So, there'll be little intros before every video that you will see in just a moment. We've played the Illyrians, we've played a Greek faction, and we have played a Diadoc as well. So, I thought, what better faction to play than a Thracian faction, which we have haven't played as of yet. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Oh my first love, what have they done to you? You were once great and beautiful, powerful and strong. Now you are in ruins, weak and broken, a shadow of what once was. Oh my first love, Adrissia, let the gods bless us once again. I remember, through the words of my father and his father before him, how once we were unified and powerful, how once Thracians instilled fear in the hearts of pompous Greeks hiding behind their stone walls. But alas, those blessed days are done, and it was those foul Greeks who brought their end. Evil Philip the tyrant with a heel upon our neck. At least his vile son, Alexander the Butcher, went east to the prize of death. And when the Macedonians were gone, righteous Suthes claimed our freedom once again. And for a short time, all was good with the world. I remember, with mine own eyes, the day that that beast, Lysimachus, servant of Hades, marched upon our lands. I see it still, in the night, in my nightmares, the horror and pain put upon my people, upon my family, the truest cost of supposed Greek civilization. When news came of Lysimachus's death by the hand of other Greeks, I should have laughed, if not for the fact that I longed to strike him down myself. Since then, more enemies have surrounded us, fanatical Celts, steppe riders in the north, and our once great capital, Suthopolis, has become ashes, our tribes splintered like driftwood. But do not weep for me, and all the pain I have suffered. Weep for our beloved Thrace, for she is bent and broken. So it is time to march to unify her once more, to avenge all those lost to her. And maybe, from the ashes, she can rise to be great once again. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that introduction there. And of course, more of those to come as we get into the further episodes. If you did enjoy it and you are going to enjoy this series, guys, and a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help these first videos go out to more people. We are playing on Hard Hard and we are going to play... Uh, other, okay, there's no extreme mode anymore. I forgot about that for the hotfix. Uh, we are an emerging power, and we start with our three settlements in here. Adrissa, which is a large town. We start with Corelopolis over here, which is just a town. And we start with Suthopolis over here, which just prior to the date, uh, the start date of this campaign, was burnt to ashes. I don't believe anyone really knows who did it, but... um. Yeah, comment down below if you do know who did it, but someone burnt this place to the ashes, so it's kind of in ruins now as well. We start with a load of generals, which is very good. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good, but we don't start in a great position. We are bordering the Kabile, the Asti, uh, the Trabali, the Bessi, the Thracians, and potentially the Seleucids down here as well, if we can see that. We can't quite see it just yet. But what we are going to do is we are going to pop through over here. And we're going to have a look. So we have Madu Tenopolis over here. And we also have Diopolis 
uh, for the Bessie. So what we're going to do, we are going to go straight for Madu Tenno Polis with these guys. We're going to go straight in there. I'm going to take this young 20-year-old as my secondary general. Although this guy would be good with his silver experience. Um, I've already moved him. So <laughs> bit of a mixed mistake there, but that's fine. You guys are going to go into there. You are going to join them there. And we should have enough movement points, hopefully, after this battle to go straight for Diopolis as well. You are going to govern Maduteno Polis when we get round to it. You have seven influence. In fact, we'll probably get you to uh, govern Philippopolis or something like that as well. We don't actually start with any, um, any agents at all, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> I would like a spy, but I do know why they have remove that first things first though let's make sure we build some palisades in Corellopolis because otherwise Kabile or the Asti could just come and smash into us in terms of um sort of troops that we can leave behind to garrison we don't have too many it's mainly the Thracian Peltasts so I kind of want to start filling out our army. Let's go for the Romfire Foroy. One of the best units in the game, guys. One of the best units for their cost in the game. They don't cost that much, and they do an insane amount. The only thing that they're bad at is, uh, is cavalry. They cannot fight cavalry. Trust me, they are awful <laughs> against cavalry. But uh, apart from that, they are very, very good. Let's uh, get a Romfire Foroy then. We're also going to get a land clearance. That should leave us with enough money to get a land clearance here. But let's see if we get any money from taking Madu Tenopolis. So let's go. It's only a village. Um, so it should be rather easy. And hopefully we can just use our generals for this. So let's go. Many brave soldiers have seen the dawn. How many will see the sun sing in the west? How many of the enemy already pray for night? Well then guys, I hope you enjoyed that little speech. Always like to show off the first speech and speeches in bigger battles. Of course, this is not a bigger battle, but <laughs> it is our first battle of the whole campaign nonetheless. So uh, yeah, always want to show that first little speech off. And uh, we'll have a look at our Thracian units just for a second while they start char charging. Our Thracian royal bodyguards are actually pretty insane they are better than the greek bodyguards in my opinion because they have javelins as well we do have our romfire foray which i've already spoke about that armor piercing unit which is absolutely fantastic the long spearmen are our sort of trash levy unit they are really the only sort of good spearman option we get though so that is going to be a little bit of a problem they can do um skill trom now I, I didn't even know that <laughs> that's how little i use those guys um, but then we have the Thracian Peltas as well, which are an insane Peltas unit because they have an armor-piercing little sicker knife that they like to use. So, um, yeah, that is pretty good. Let's uh, keep on coming forward. The archers aren't even firing on us then. Um, let's just, just get into that little gap. I am tempted to just charge them. Oh, there goes their, uh, the archers. But uh, hopefully I want to fight these guys off the town square. Let's go for the general, though, first. See if we can kill him. Uh, and we'll just leave these guys to fire at the archers, which should be good. Oh, especially when they're budging, bunching up like that. That is very nice. We're going to lose apparently one man, uh, which is obviously not great, but it's it's okay. And now we can just use the general. Very nice. Well, there we go. We lost four men, but we actually did lose a little bit more than that from friendly fire. But it doesn't matter. We didn't lose a general, and we mainly used the generals. Good little start. And this place basically has no population, so we can't do anything other than occupy it. I would like to have enough money to build that, but 1,500 is quite a lot. So let's keep on going. What I am going to do is send the generals out first. We're going to attack this neutral faction. And in fact, we may just attack with the generals. I'm hoping these guys would come into the city, though. Hmm... Well, they should do if now we've joined them up. You can go into Madu Tenopolis. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is if the Bessie decide to attack, we will lose that general. But they would be a little bit dumb to attack them there, I think, rather than attacking us. And it is the AI, remember, guys. <laughs> it is the AI. So let's go for Diopolis in here. Got to kill these guys. Um, and yeah, we'll just use the generals once again. We certainly have a lot more uh, javies than them, so we should be able to beat them. 
We'll meet them in the charge. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at this down here then, shall we, guys? Get a feel for the Thracian warfare. Um, but there we go. Already died. Already died. Very nice. We only lost three men. Very nice indeed. Well, we could get a little bit of population and denarii from this. And I think we will. That's just going to boost up uh, the population growth in some of our other regions. Which, of course, is a good thing. How much are those walls? 1,700. Well, honestly, I'd rather build the walls there than anything else. Just so you can see down south we don't get invaded. This is Seleucid land. So, yeah. We are bordering the Seleucids. There is a high chance that they want to attack us. Let's just check our diplomatic standing because we might actually be allied to them. Yes, we are. We are allied to them. We are enemies with Tylus, Galatians, and Bessie. It really doesn't matter about Tylus and the Galatians. They're too far away from us right now to really do anything. Tylus is up here somewhere. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter about them. But I think we're at the end turn, guys. So let us press that end turn button. And there go the dummies. The dummies are dead, my friends. And we didn't even talk about the plan. That, <laughs> that was like... And the goals of this campaign. Honestly, in terms of the goals, um, there isn't too many goals. We want to unite Thrace. So pretty much this region. If we can take, you know, the province of Thrace all the way up to the river here, I will be very happy. And then potentially threaten Greece. That, that is our main goal in the end, is to threaten Greece and potentially Anatolia um, as well. In terms of our plan early on, it is to take out the Bessie and then pretty much be reactive. Because one of these guys will very much likely attack us. So um, yeah, we'll just be reactive to what happens. Maybe even the Seleucids will break their alliance with us. Um, but that's fine. I'm not bothered. Uh, about that it'll just be a little bit scary when it does happen and now we are making money because of the empire mechanic so that is fantastic we're going to leave behind a thracian peltast and we're going to be slightly wary hmm that's slightly annoying because it would have been nicer if they had um taken their army out so what we're going to do is we are going to sneak around to attack Bessapara rather than philippopolis and try and bait them into leaving, like, bringing their army out of here. So that's what we're going to do to start with. Again, it's going to be another easy walk in the park. So uh, let's just get into it. And once again, our generals are going to be doing the heavy lifting. So uh, let's get rid of those jabbies into the enemy. And then we will charge them. It's likely they will charge us first again, like they did last time. But, uh, yep, there we go. I think we're still going to win pretty easily here, even though... I kind of missed the charge there. And there we have it. They already routed. Very nice. Let's end the battle there. Another settlement is ours. We are uniting the tribes of Thrace. And I think for Bessapara, we're just going to occupy. That's got a nice little bit of population in there already. Do we have any movement left? No, we don't. So hopefully they're going to leave the settlement this turn. Hmm. Eh, it's... Uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm not 100% certain, but uh, I guess we'll find out, guys, won't we? And there we have it, guys. We actually do have some money, but the Bessie have done nothing. That's a little bit of a shame, because that's going to be a bloody old battle. We're going to leave a long spearman behind, and we are going to siege them down. Do we have them happy here? We do. Now, I haven't changed any of the tax rates as of yet, guys, because we are early game. And if you do want to squeeze a little bit more money out of these places, you should put them up to very high. But I just want that ticking population growth for now. Once we start making an actual bit of money, we will start putting them down to low to get as much population growth as possible. We're now at Empire Size 2. And anything interesting on the diplomacy... No, Paphlagonia and the Galatians, that's normal. Paeonia and Dida, Dardania, that's also normal. Antigone Kingdom and Athens, hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. We did manage to get our walls up in those two settlements. And we don't have enough money to build walls here, do we? That's unfortunate, but that should be fine after next turn. Well, guys, unfortunately, I did have a little glitch that is part of Rome Remastered, where I went to start the siege like this and then had a look at the Bessian Swordsman. 
don't do that, guys. It, it will freeze. So uh, <laughs> make sure you look at the units before you get onto the siege screen. Uh, but I was just basically saying that the Bessian Swordsman, very, very good. 16 melee attack that is armor piercing. So we are going to have a tough time against those guys. Our run fire four are only 15 melee attack armor piercing. And of course, we are on hard, so they will get a bonus. We now do have walls in Diopolis uh, and Corellopolis, which is good. Hopefully, we'll have enough money to build walls in Besapara after this fight as well. So, let's get into it. It's going to be a tough one, but we should be able to win. We do have more cavalry. We do have more of everything, basically. So, uh, let's go. Yes, let's go. Well, here we go, guys. A proper battle against the Bessie for their final settlement. Hopefully, we can do some damage to them um, out here, away from the town square. But let's find out. Well, I think it's going to be the Long Spearman first through the gates here, guys. And then we're going to get these guys in through here. We'll also send our generals in around this way. The Bessian Swordsmen, like the Ronfire Foray, are not great against cavalry. So maybe we just hold actually here for a second and wait for backup. But I don't want to give up the uh, the good positioning here if we can help it. So guys, can you path properly, please? Maybe we just put them in Skiltrom. See what happens. See if they're any good. Go into Skiltrom, my friends. They don't look like they're doing it, but that's, uh, it's okay. I feel like they might rout. If they don't get uh, any uh, support sometime soon. So let's get our guys in there. Well, uh, let's get you guys this way. You guys are going to go fight them. You guys are going to come over here. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, they actually are doing it. Slightly. They're getting a bit screwed, but they are doing it. Which is good. Come on, guys. Go. Jeez, man. Right. Let's get our cavalry in here. Because they have their cavalry in there too. So we want our own cavalry back up in here as well. Let's get in there, boys. Come on, boys. What are they doing? Like, what is that? <laughs> what? Is Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, they've broken. They've broken. Let's bring all of these boys in. And then what we're going to try and do is sneak the cavalry past here. Once they've got to a point where they can actually sneak past. We're going to go for a cheeky old charge. Let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, it's such a mess. <laughs> oh, dear. Guys, 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 guys. Just, 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 just come on. Just come on. Just get in here. Stop messing around, man. Right, you guys get into the fight too. Run for your four -way. Let's go. We're actually in uh, quite a decent position now. The, the skill trom has worked very well. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite happy about it, to be honest. Um, and now we are chasing down the uh, Thracian Royal Bodyguards. I've ran these guys away because, yeah, they don't need to be in there. Uh, they will die. They are light cavalry, of course. But, yeah, now we are killing their king. That should be good. And these guys should be ready to get in there. There we go. He dies. Very nice. That's going to break them all. Let's chase them down. Let's chase them down. Well, they do have their Bessian Swordsman holding the fort here. Fair play to them. I think that's a good idea from them. We have got our on fire four -way. Hopefully, they'll get a jabby shot off. And then we can absolutely ruin them. So, there we go. We're going to charge them now with the boys. Very good. We're going to take you off fire at will for the moment. This should hopefully break them. They're already shaken. Not stirred, of course, my friends. Not stirred. Are they stirred? They're all... Well, they are very thoroughly stirred right now. Get rid of them. Come on, boys. Let's go for Thrace. The only thing I am worried about is getting charged somewhat because even getting charged in this can be quite bad. So, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are not the best against javies or charges, although we are used to uh, troops that aren't very good against javelins, aren't we, guys? <laughs> you are firing at the wrong people. I need to move you along a little bit. Come on, guys. Can you path properly, please? That would be nice. That would be really nice. I think, honestly, if we just get to there, the Bessian Swordsman will be in reach. Come on, boys. Go, go, go. I just want to get them off the town square, and then we can use our cavalry. 
uh, to uh, push them. They're taunting us at the minute. I don't know why you're taunting us. Your king has just died, my friends. He has died a terrible death. And the javelins are just absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Just ruining them as they come in here. So come on, Cav. Let's go. We're going to charge at these Bessian swordsmen. We're going to rally the men so our guy doesn't die. And we have won anyway. Very nice indeed. And we didn't even take that many losses. Just mainly the... Uh, the long spearmen, but fair play to the long spearmen. They did a very, very good job. They probably didn't kill many men. Let's have a look. Where are the long spearmen? 46, but they just held the gate for such a long time. The brave long spearmen of Thrace. Very nice, my friends. Well, there we go. That should be the Bessie completely dead now. Very nice indeed. There we go. It's probably just loading the message. Come on. Load. <laughs> I think we are going to enslave this settlement if it does load eventually. There we go. That's going to spread a bit of that population, make them slightly happier, um, and give us a little bit um, extra population boost. They've got a, a second level city barracks in here. Let's have a look at this. This is all changed now as well, so you can get level 5 recruitment at minor city, guys. You still have to go through 1 to 5. It's not just 1, 2, and 3 anymore. Uh, sorry, it never was, but it's not just one, two, and three. But we can get the D the Die Eye Swordsman here, which are an armor-piercing unit with 17 melee attack, 30 defense. Very nice. We can also get the Bessian Swordsman that we have already seen. Both fantastic units. So that will be amazing if we can get those guys. So we will go for that at some point. First things first, though, let's uh, get a move on out of here. We're probably going to leave the Long Spearman behind. They did a very good job for us, um, but uh, <laughs> we need to go all the way back to Adrissa, and hopefully that will allow us then to retrain all of those boys, and then we can decide what we want to do. I am thinking we go for Kabile and the Asti, um, and then we've got Suthopolis that has upgraded, so we do need money. Um, we are struggling for money at the moment, but... Ah, we should be okay. We should be okay. So I think the big bottleneck for us in this whole campaign, my friends, is going to be money. Like, as you can see, we have so very little money. So, yeah, it's going to be a struggle uh, because all of this land is just so, so weak. Let's get some uh, long spearmen in there. We're going to build a diplomat so we can finally speak to people. No, we're not. We'll do that next turn. We're going to build that first. Hmm cancel the long spearmen and potentially get walls over here as well we do need walls hmm i mean how much 36 yeah it's not enough that one's not at risk so let's not build walls there for the time being and let's just get the long spearmen in there anyway that'll be fine and then i think we're gonna snipe kabile i'm not too bothered about barrow it's not a terrible settlement. It actually does get a bit of trade up as time goes on because some of these areas do have some trade goods like hides over here, gold over here, pottery. Um, but yeah, it'll be fine. The Olympic Games has started. Good. But yeah, we don't need the walls specifically now. What I am thinking of doing though is that we'll swap around these guys. Because a general is much better in a larger town than just basically a tiny little town. So that'll be good. Maybe the Thracians will come attack us, but I'm not too bothered. Well, I think we know what oh, that thanks. means. Maybe we can get an alliance with them. They're, it's very demanding. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Tylus wants a ceasefire. That's absolutely fine with me. No oh, problem thanks. with that. So I don't think we're going to be attacking the Asti first, guys, because they have declared that they are allies with the Pontic Pentapolis, which ideally we don't want to fight right away. I mean, Thracian units are very good at fighting Greek, early Greek units especially. Um, but yeah, Pontic Pentapolis just has a bit too much economic power for us right now. So I think we are going to be cheeky and go for Kabile. So, let's go. Neutral faction. I don't really care. Um, we are, of course, unifying all of these Thracian tribes under our banner right now, which is amazing. Let's also get that in there. We're getting long spearmen here, aren't we? Can we uh, recruit anything there? No, we have no, nothing at all uh, to recruit there. Did we get uh, an agent? No. How much are you, diplomat? 
750, bloody hell. You're expensive, my friend. You're an expensive diplomat. But uh, anyway, <laughs> let's end the turn once again, guys. I know we're churning through a lot of turns here, but um, it is necessary. We are just uh, very small, so we don't have that much to do each turn, do we? And the Asti want trade. That that might be another oh, declare thanks. war on us. <laughs> and as expected, I think. Oh, um, let's see if we can ally. No, demanding. What if I give maps? No. Okay, at least the Trabali have something to give us. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Trabali. See, the thing is, guys, we are in a very, very poor situation now because our land is so, so poor. Adrissa is our largest town with only 2,300 population. Um, you know, we are, we are struggling, really, economically. And that is very true of the Adrissian kingdom at this period in time. But do you know who's not struggling? It is Pontic Pentapolis. So I am very much considering just absolutely gunning for them and getting some of their richer, large towns along the coast. Problem with that is it's quite a long coast. We'll be a long way away from reacting to anything down here. And because of our economic power, we do not have anything to like any way of like raising another army up if we really need to. Like it's just not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of swings and roundabouts for us at the moment, guys. Um, but that's fine. Let's uh, let's get on with the Siege of Kabile. That should be very nice and easy. And we are getting attacked by their archers, which is a little bit annoying. But, um, yeah, they're not going to do too many kills. And luckily, they are off the town square. I'm going to show you how good these guys can be against Macedonian hoplites, hopefully. Um, if we can get in here quick enough. Come on, boys. There we go. Hopefully, that's enough range to start absolutely savaging these guys. Let's see. Maybe even maybe even that. They are quick. They are very quick as units. So, we can go uh, as far up as we want. Also, bring these guys in to maybe fire some jabbies. Oh, yeah. We, we are going to... Yeah, we are going to absolutely savage them here. Halt. Halt. Fire the jabbies, boys. Fire the jabbies. Okay. Not going to fire the jabbies. That's fine. Well, we are going to charge you then. With all the might that we have. Hopefully these guys uh, will come up this way. Keep coming. You guys get there as well. But oh my god. Look at the amount of Javi just flying in right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The, the Macedonian Hoplites should get absolutely savaged by our Romphi Foroi. Because of course they are armor piercing. Although Macedonian Hoplites. How, how uh, armored are they? I don't actually know. The cavalry is not doing a great job. Uh, I probably should just get those guys out of it in general. Uh, and we'll get these guys here. We'll go kill the... Oh, okay. Okay. You want to fight? You literally... You want to fight? That's going to allow these guys to fire their javelins. I don't think you want to do that. Like, I don't think that's a good idea, guys. <laughs> just keep coming. Keep baiting them. That should allow us to fire. Come on, boys. Anyone firing? No, I guess not. But we'll try again. Well, there we go. We finally got some javelins off. That's going to be amazing. Let's see if we can uh, get these guys ready to go with a little bit of a war cry. That is fantastic. And then we're going to charge into the back of them with our generals. Let's make sure we rally so that he doesn't die. And uh, hopefully we can break these guys now. They have been absolutely savaged by the jabbies, which, uh, yeah, they do turn. But uh, there we go. Fantastic. Um, another large town is in our possession so slowly but surely we are building up that economy very nice well once again we are going to enslave we want that population in places that matter more to us i'm sorry uh camille uh i know that sounds harsh but you're not terribly important to me right now um so yeah you are gonna get in there and then we're gonna continue our march onto de belton which is their new capital they will have an army somewhere but, yeah, where that is, I don't exactly know. And this is what we're talking about, guys. These juicy towns on the coast where we can make a load of money through trade rather than anything else. I don't think a lot of them have, like, loads loads of trade goods. But, um, oh, there's Tylus. But, yeah, it should hopefully be okay. Maybe we want to take the Asti first. But, um, yeah, let's see if uh, Kabile has a has an army stood around anywhere waiting for us in this end turn. 
Well, the Maidy didn't want an alliance, so maybe the Dentha Latte oh, are thanks. the ones. Fantastic. Let's take that. Well, it does look like Kabile has a little army. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah. I mean, it looks like another uh, another tribe is going to be... Um, I was going to say exhumed. No, it's not exhumed. In Inzhumed. <laughs> I don't think that's a word, but uh, anyway, we do get 500 from mines, which would be very, very nice. Uh, but honestly, I think the main thing is getting more troops. So yeah, let's do that. We'll also use the, the long spim and their upkeep is not too bad, 518. So uh, yeah, they're not going to be too bad uh, as garrison troops. And then we're going to build a few economic buildings in here. The first level farms... In a few of these regions, that's a second level. We want first level wherever we can get it. It's going to build up population growth and give us about, yeah, oh, 74 in there. That's that's quite good. What are, what are we looking at in sort of uh, over here? Is it 74 there as well? Oh, we're getting a load more taxes from something next turn. I haven't changed the taxes, but... Oh, it's the uh, influx of population, isn't it? Very nice. Well, let's uh, get into this one. They have their own Romfire for right here and a general. So let's go. Tell you what, guys. Like, I do like playing the Greeks, of course. The Greeks are always fun to play. But, uh, yeah, we I know we've captured the ward walls, mate. Shut up. Um, <laughs> but I do love just the pace of the battles in Illyria and Thrace. Like, they definitely have a distinct feeling that is very different to the Greeks, which I absolutely love. Like, it doesn't feel rote or the same at all. It feels completely different, a lot faster, a lot less armor, and a lot more higher damage done. Whereas the Greek battles, Greeks versus Greeks, a lot slower, a lot less damage, um, a lot more defense. So, yeah, I do really love the way that that goes. Well, we are right in the thick of the action now. Looks like the general is going to charge our men. So, uh, let's make sure that we counter charge with those boys. And there come the Rumfire Forroy. They are very well armored, the uh, royal bodyguards. So, we do need to remember that. Let's get these guys in there if they can. And then these guys here, ideally, to attack the Peltasts. But uh, yeah, oh my god, he's getting he's getting absolutely shredded, this bodyguard. So yeah, there we go. Make sure you fire into them, my friends. And uh, you guys, yeah, you guys can fire there too. That'd be amazing. You guys fire there. Come on, man. Come on. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Once he falls, we should be absolutely peachy. Well, apparently these guys did not want to fire before they charged. They just decided to charge, which was stupid. But um, we should be good enough to absolutely shred those boys. There we go. There he is. He's dead. Very nice. Let's get straight into the Rumfire Fulroy then. Oh, those jabbies. They, that might be a little bit of friendly fire. I'm not going to lie. But this should be battle over, really. There we go. Fantastic. Fast and furious, like I said. Fast and furious. <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely love it. And a Belton, again, we are going to enslave. That is going to spread some more population around our regions. No, we don't. We want to do that. How did the uh, the governor's villa get damaged? Also, are we still able to upgrade you? We are. We need 3,200 gold. That seems like a, quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, the thing is, do we go for the Asti now? Like, we can't actually see them. But if I come here, how far? We can actually walk a long way. Okay, they've, they've got an army outside. That's a draw-out battle. I don't think we can ignore that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, is there anything we can leave behind? That's the only problem. Like, we have no units ready to leave behind, apart from maybe the, the Peltas. But I don't like leaving them behind. They're so valuable. So very valuable. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's move on down to here and then we're going to go for the draw out battle and there is still rebel territories here byzantium hasn't taken anything um and uh, kios is across here doing whatever it wants to do a field battle though guys let's go they should accept that fantastic okay so it looks like they do have the advantage oh my god they've got a big advantage in cavalry but they've got like no infantry very strange very strange i feel like we should Run to try and take these guys out as quick as possible. So let's go. 
battles never easy. Never easy. But then it's not meant to be easy. It is a testing ground for men, for noble men. And even the lowest of us is ready for this test. Yes! Well, we've got to be careful here, guys, because if they are set up right at the back here, they're going to be joined by uh, their guys very, very quickly. I'm going to try and keep thick formations and put them on guard mode because they are not good against cavalry. So we just have to be very careful. I'm going to keep all of my cavalry together as well. So let's see. Where are they? Okay, they, they basically set up like next to them. So yeah, we are going to go and try and meet them. But uh, yeah, it's going to be rather interesting, I think. Cavalry is going to be king on this battlefield. So we're keeping that compact formation, my friends. And we are just going to try and bait them into a little bit of a charge here. See what we can do. It looks like they are falling for the bait. I'm going to bring my cavalry round to the right-hand side. I do worry about our Romfire Foroy here. Because like I say, the one thing that they are not good at is fighting cavalry. And it looks like they are very much going to be fighting a lot of cavalry. Luckily, it's only Light Lancers. And they are not the heaviest of units, as we can see. Um, so there we go. We've got rid of one of them already. Good, good, good. The rest of them, though. Okay, the Light Lancers, they're fine to charge because they are not... They don't have a lot of mass. I'm just worried about this Noble Cavalry, wherever that is. Thracian Royal Bodyguards over there. We've got Hippocontisti here. You guys, I want you to fire at them. What do we have looking at us here? More Light Lancers. Okay, let's go. Let's go, my friends. Let's rally the men. We should be able to break these Light Lancers, no problem. But here comes the Noble Cavalry. That's what I was worried about. Fight them, goddammit. Fight them, men. Get rid of them. Come on, beat these Light Lancers as quick as you can. Come on, guys. Like, how are they not falling quicker than this? Come on, men. Hold. Hold. Hold the lines. Okay, they, they've broken. We need to get rid of them. Then they've got their own run fire for, right? Okay, get rid of this general, and then we should be good. We should be good. Like I say, we're keeping all our cavalry together in a big block. We need to kill this general, remember? So there we go. That's good. And we need to kill the other general. Uh, what do we do now? That's the, that's the question. Uh, I mean, the noble cavalry's done a decent enough job. I want you guys to, to try and uh, pin them. So then we can charge them ourselves. What are you? Hippocontisti? Maybe they're going to go for the charge. They are, they are, they are. Go, 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 men, go! Meet them! I'm worried about that general charging us now. That would be a good tactic for them. Let's us charge him. And let's rally. We should have enough men to overpower him here. Come on, men. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Ah, oh, I didn't put you on guard mode. Fire at them. Now, this is, this is the big battle. This is the battle. He's got three gold stars as well. Three gold chevrons, should I say. Oof. That's that's a bit spicy. That's a little bit spicy. Okay, those guys have routed. Keep on fighting, my guys. Keep on fighting. And, uh, yeah, you guys fire there. If we can kill him, though, we should be good. We might not take the city uh, with this, uh, this fight. But hopefully we do enough damage so that taking the city will not be an issue. Looks like our ranks are falling. How are the Noble Cavalry doing so much damage? Brother! Come on! No, 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 no. Let's rally again. Come on. How long does it take? That, that, those gold chevrons are just brutal, bro. They are brutal. We should have enough cavalry to, to win this still, though. But, yeah, these guys, come on. The noble cavalry's done insanely well. Oh, come on. It's just the last guy. He's still eager as well. <laughs> he's an <laughs> he's eager. <laughs> he's just like, ah, I don't care. Kill me, but uh, I'll carry on. <laughs> What a man. Come on, guys. Kill him. How many hit points does this motherfucker have? <laughs> Jesus. This is, I, is Iron Man. M my God. Iron Man. Oh, no. You know what? If they don't have another general, which they may not, we may have just uh, given this settlement to rebels. Um, okay, there goes the Thracian Noble Cavalry. Ah, I always forget about that. I feel like in a draw-out battle where they come out of the city, that shouldn't happen. But the thing is, that's not how the engine works. So, 
You guys go and chase them. We'll kill these Peltas and the Rumfire Foroy. Oh, boys, you've done a fantastic job. I'm proud of you, men. I am proud of you. Let's get rid of this Rumfire Foroy now before he kills more of us. <laughs> the bastards. There we go. Fantastic. Let's mop them up. Well, there we go, guys. A hard-fought victory, I've got to say. But, um... Uh... Yeah, great victory for us. Very nice. A bit of a shame that the Romfire Foroy did break. That is that is the one thing with them. They are basically glass cannons. Um, but yeah, I don't think we would have taken the city anyway. I'm just now worried that we will have killed the Asti completely. Um, but let's find out. Oh, and thank God for that. Dezos over here is still alive. Very nice. That is fantastic for us very very nice indeed and one thing i forgot to do guys is show you our glorious roigos the odrissian over here our faction leader 10 influence four command and four management is very very good um he is popular he does the night battle he's got one attack he's got minus three for morale though maybe that's why we had issues in that last battle wine steward doesn't give minus morale age retainer gives management golden and fora as the king, this man has acquired a very precious gift that will surely be admired by his people. That is cool. Uh, priestess of Bendis um, and a former Macedonian soldier. Faction leader, undisputed leader. He's a potential unifier. So yeah, so this ruler comes to power with the tribes disunited. Does he have the sword might and uh, command prowess to bring them all under his rule? Sovereign of all Thracians, this man must rule Buridava... Sarmizegatusa, Kalatis, Nikaea, Nysos, Byzantian, Tylus, and Serdike. Do we have any of those as of yet? No, I, I don't think so. Um, I think we need... Was Salmadesus on there? Well, I guess it's one of those things that will just happen naturally. But uh, yeah, when we get that, that'll be very cool. He's a true Thracian, a Drissai. This man hails from the Adrissai, once the most powerful tribe in Thrace, now brought down by the campaigns of Alexander, his successors, and the invasions of the Celts. The members of their royal dynasty still hold their heads up high, waiting to regain a bit of past glory. Of course, past glory. I don't see where this minus morale is coming from, bro. Veteran commander as well. People's champion. He is polygamous as well. Hates the Asti. Good. Hates the Bessie. Good. I mean, the Bessie have, are gone. Uh, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay. Minus one morale from being selfish and pessimistic. And that... I, where's the rest of... Uh, bloody. That's plus one morale. Is that the winter, maybe? Oh, and Typhus. Ah, that's why. Okay, we have Typhus in this army. So this army needs to... Uh, chill for a little bit but let's uh press that end turn again and hopefully we can take busier and we got a candidate for adoption fantastic of course we will accept that they are going to then rule uh busier i am just gonna auto resolve this i think i mean it shouldn't be too bad yeah 100 men that's that's not bad at all um let's enslave busier and that is the asti dead as well and that they did a siege down Dezos did siege down Adrissa which fair play go on what's the best form of defense guys going on the attack but uh yeah also a bit dumb um when he could have tried to defend his homeland at least let's uh repair those I mean I do want to consider what we're going to do with these buildings because we do need more money uh honestly like busier is there anything good AOR wise here no, it's just standard Thracian roster. So we'll never actually build this up, probably. So we are going to just destroy these to start with. That's going to bring us a little bit of extra money this turn, which is something that we do need. So let's uh, retrain all these boys. How much is that? We've only got 4,000 left after all of that. Town expands Bessa Para. Good. That is all of our money, then. Suthopolis, we can't do it. So, oh God, that is expensive. 3,200 to go to a large town, man. That is really expensive. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely fine. Got a trait increase. He's now an opulent aristocrat. De Belton got the walls repaired. So, yeah, we are slowly but surely building up our power. I think next time we are going to take Thrace proper. And then hopefully by that point we will have enough economic power 
to fight um, to fight the uh, Pontic Pentapolis. That that is the plan, anyway, my friends. Whether it goes down like that or not, I don't know. Adrissia still like borders the Thracians um, and the Seleucids, and if we lose that, we lose the level five recruitment there. So that is absolutely priority: is not to lose Adrissia. <laughs> Absolute priority, my friends. Absolute priority. Well, in here, let's build the land clearance as well. That's going to help with population growth too. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. But if you have enjoyed this first episode of this campaign, guys, definitely comment down below your thoughts, suggestions, all that sort of thing. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.